All right, I'm working on a new little project uh, called the Jewel Ringer. This is a thing that Laser Saber has put out and made two videos on it. And uh, this is his circuit, and he has posted this. And uh, this is not mine at all. But he's built off of a circuit that came out of a disposable camera. There's the circuit board from the disposable camera. And uh, I've done the same thing before with these Fuji cameras or whatever disposable cameras. You can take them apart and make uh, high voltage drivers out of the circuit board. And he has made a circuit using a bifiler inductor right here with uh, diodes or other methods down here to control the base feed to the transistor. And this isn't going to make any sense to anyone who's not working on this project, but I thought I might post this. Maybe it'll help somebody that's working on this. Um, this is a, what's called a dead bug circuit, where you take all the components and you lay them out and stick their legs up in the air like a dead bug. And this is Chili Queen's RLC circuit that he posted a while back, and I replicated it. And it was the only thing I could use right now to try out a couple of things. And um, I don't know if you can see that or not. That's drawn about 12.3 uh, milliamps on a AA battery right there. And I do have a capacitor hooked up to it. And you can see she's producing uh, high voltage right there through a neon. Now, what I've also got here to simulate Laser Saber's bifiler coil is my stubble field coil that I have hooked up in a certain way, including a potentiometer. And I can make the brightness of that go brighter by turning the potentiometer up. You see that or not. This is hard to do with one hand. But anyway, I just crank that up. I'll crank it back down again. It's down a little bit. Anyway, there's uh, there's the amp draw. Now I'm going to disconnect the battery here, and just to show you what Laser Saber is basically doing. And there is the uh, the circuit still running on the energy contained in that capacitor. Now he is using different kinds of capacitors. He's using uh, uh, electrolytic capacitors in the 10,000 microfarad range 10 volts and he's ganging them up uh, as many as six in a row to increase the storage capacitor. What that is, that's a super cap, a 2.3 volt 10 farad super cap. I just wanted to show that it will run on a super cap. And like I say, this is an RLC circuit. This is a resonant RLC circuit. This particular one is one that uh, Chili Queen put out. You can go to his uh, YouTube website and see it. And it's basically using this little transformer out of a disposable camera and one transistor. But anyway, I just wanted to report uh, to folks that this is what I'm working on right now is this uh, jewel ringer that uh, Laser Saber has running on a capacitor. And uh, I can do the same thing, but I'm not able to make it run very long on uh, just an electrolytic capacitor. I don't have the high enough farad ratings uh, to do it with, except for a super cap. And a super cap, my particular super caps, will run this quite nicely. And like I say, the uh, amp draw on this, when it's on a battery, is uh, at about uh, 12... Okay, there's the cap loading up again. That's a good thing to show right there. You can see the draw coming out of the battery with the cap loading up. And that's that super cap loading its energy back up again. But you can see now it's dropping down as the capacitor fills back up. And this will go back down to about 12 milliamps. And to get high voltage um, with a 12 milliamp draw out of a battery is not too shabby. So anyway, I'm pursuing this. I hope the other people that are working on this uh, can figure out the transformer wiring on this. Okay, good luck everyone. Hope this helps.